believe in your own power. Uh, it, you know, the vote is an expression that what each of us does matter. And we live in a time and a world where so often we are given the message that you have to be wealthy, you have to be powerful, you have to have connections in order to have influence. But the premise of our nation is all people have a voice, all people have power in a government of, by, and for the people. And I think about our dear friend, John Lewis, who's looking down on us. Who would have thought that a young man in his early 20s with a kind of a scruffy looking overcoat and a backpack standing at the front of a bridge would end up triggering a moral awakening that transformed a nation. And yet that's what happened. And, and that was because he understood as Stacy and John and Raphael understand, as, as I understood uh, when I started on this journey that um, the faith that all of us matter and all of us have a voice, when that catches fire, when that is something that we all believe, amazing things happen, uh, impossible things happen. Uh, and, and, and you are now, anybody who is within the sound of my voice right now, you have the possibility of sparking that kind of change. Uh, and it's not, by the way, just by talking to the converted. I mean, one of the reasons that Georgia ended up voting after a recount after a recount <laughs> for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris was because there were a number of folks who decided, you know what, partisanship only goes so far at a certain point what matters is integrity and what matters is values. What matters is how we treat each other. And I think there's still some folks in, in Georgia who we may not anticipate will vote for John and Raphael. They may be your coworkers. They may be your fellow congregants. They may be uh, somebody you know, that you're a, a, a fellow parent at a school. Who, who, if you have that conversation with them, I think you, you may be able to persuade them. So, so I want everybody, I'm, I'm assuming everybody who's listening to this is going to vote. And I sure hope everybody who's listening is going to get everybody else that they know to vote in their circle. But I also want you to, to understand your power and conviction in uh, reaching out, finding common ground, and communicating not just the importance of this election, but the, the real possibilities of, of what America can do on health, jobs, and justice when citizens are active, when we understand that we don't leave this to the high and mighty, but all of us from the ground up uh, decide we're going to make a change. When that happens, nothing can stop it. Uh, so Georgia, get to work. Like Reverend Warnock said, put on, put on some shoes, put on some marching shoes. Yeah, I'll throw off those bedroom slippers. Get out of, from under the covers. Let's do some work. And I'll, I'll, I'll do anything I can to be helpful uh, in this process. But ultimately, this is up to Georgia. Uh, and, 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 you know, the people like John and, and Raphael representing Georgia that's going to make it happen.